Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back! My name is Gaia Son, and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast. The podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. And in season one, she lives in her father's dreams. Who knows what will happen after season one, once she discovers she's in the dream. But right now, she doesn't know it. Her father doesn't know it. Nobody knows it except the Red Dragon, who is telling the story, who doesn't come from Justin's dream. So... We are at episode 107 of a daily podcast and something that I tr- I'm trying to tell you how big the scope is usually, but, you know, my entire life from birth to death, detailing the life of uh, Joy Shelley, the future heroine, the, even at this young age, she's already a heroine. Um, but and since we're small, still, if you listen to this, at present, at the time I'm recording this, I am still noticing single people who are joining in. And the nice thing about starting a podcast, and I started it when I knew no one would listen to because I haven't carried over my fans well for my other projects, for my other books or plays for sure, and the movie I made. Uh, so, in the comics... So I've, I'm noticing every person. The nice thing about doing so many episodes and daily episodes is that when someone joins in and likes it, they listen to all previous 100 and some episodes together. That's the fun. You know, these are made to be listened to in a row. They're meant to be binged listened to. They're meant, you know, you, like popcorn, one, two, three, four, five, one hundred, and soon we'll have one thousand, two thousand. When we get the masses listening to this, when there are thousands of uh, podcasts, people will listen to this uh, for days and weeks in a row. They'll be catching, if, if they join in when Joy is 15 or 18 or 21, uh, they'll listen to everything she did in the past, and in addition to reading the books about what happened to her. And if she ever gets to be 50, imagine 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, two th- not 200, but you know what I mean. I can't say, you know, stuff's going to happen, and I can't say what age she reaches. People can then go back and see her entire childhood growing up, age two, eight, like today, age four, age six, age seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, so on and so on and so on. Everything that happened to her. That's the point of the Squash Buckler Diaries and the Lost in Dreams books. But we'll get to the books later in a few months. So, last time, last time on Soap. We are still in that day where Joy was completely dehydrated. She was dehydrated from, she was thirsty from the moment Justin woke up and disappeared. She was awake for 12 or 14 hours, I can't remember exactly, and, um, and was crying and exhausted herself and fell asleep. And so when Justin arrived, fell asleep and arrived at his dream, two hours later, Mary, told him not to wake her because she was exhausted and she asked for water and he didn't understand what the problem was. I don't I don't want to recap last episode, but now there's lots of drinking water around that uh, Joy hasn't touched because she's asleep. And they're not waking Joy up because she's exhausted. So let's see what happens next because it's probably not what you expect, unless you already know um, some of Joy's secrets. Episode 107, The Mystery of the Disappearing Water. Joy's age two, told by the Red Dragon. Mary, Dragon Lil's nanny, had a concerned look throughout the next day. 
It was still the day after Dragon Lil had no drinking water for the entire time Dragon Father was away, still the day in which he returned with a lot of water not understanding what the problem was. Dragon Father went on his own adventure as Dragon Lil slept and Mary kept watch on Dragon Lil. At this point, Dragon Lil was only two years old and Mary was still alive, so Dragon Lil did not join every adventure. Mary filled Dragon Lil's cabin with all the water bottles, one of them she put on the bed next to her. Dragon Father returned successfully from his adventure, happy with his success. Mary came out of the cabin to greet him. Mary, is she still asleep? He shouted, all full of vigor and success. Yes, sir. That's ridiculous. Wake her up. I'll wake her up, he immediately said, rushing past Mary. Joy, wakey-wakey, time's a-wasted. And with that, he disappeared. Mary went into Dragon Lil's cabin. I heard her gasp. The water, where's all the water? A minute later, Dragon Lil came out of the cabin, walking slowly, carrying in her hand a single water bottle. Mary came out behind her half running. Lass, lass, that's the only water bottle we have. Drink up now and be very careful not to spill a drop. Dragon Lil looked around, eyes half closed. She then opened the bottle and drank. Where's Dad? She was about to drop the bottle when Mary caught it and closed it. He came while you slept and he went. Then she spoke more softly, as if only to herself. And he only left this one bottle. Hmm... I could see it from above. I could see it from my faraway hiding place. She was beginning to understand why some things stay and some things disappear when Dragon Father disappears. Good, I nodded to myself. She can now make sure Dragon Lil never dies from thirst. I will tell you how she did it tomorrow. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Mary, Thirsty. And so... A mystery is solved as the mystery deepens. Not only is Joy, whose existence is mysterious, how is she born into the dream? How did she get to Justin's dream? How is she everything she is? How is Justin raising a daughter in the dream? But how are things disappearing and how are things remaining when Justin disappears? Uh, how is the water in her body not disappearing once he disappears. Stuff like that. So, some things we solve, some things deepen, and let's see how Mary solved this one next time. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com, that's G U Y. H A W S O N G U Y H A S S O N at gmail dot com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs> People, people, people will listen to this.